woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Matters of fruit aside, God, we already have a hard time coming to terms with the fact that none of us is you. And as much as we might think we want to be like God, in truth we struggle simply to be human. It's not that we just need more knowledge, either. After all, we keep abusing the knowledge we have already, inventing new ways to weaponize each breakthrough, commodifying information and selling access to facts. We wouldn't know what to do with your kind of knowledge, even if we could grasp it, much less your kind of power and perspective. Instead, we keep trading away our own blessedness for whatever snake oil the serpents of the day are selling, rather than accepting with honor the place you have given us as stewards and image bearers. Maybe that's the tragic irony of it all, that you have already made us in your image, God, and in some vital way you have already created us to be like you, but we have refused to believe your goodness is enough since our earliest day. We keep telling ourselves there's a deal out there better than your grace, a prize to be won better than your gifts. And we are wrong every time. So this is what we ask, O God who first fashioned us from the clay. Teach us again how to accept being the glorious creations we already are. Help us now to become ourselves rightly, our truest, deepest selves, fully alive and unashamedly human, knowing you are not embarrassed to have shared our humanity as well. We ask it in the name of Jesus, the truly human.